Ladies and gentlemen, from Wiley College, please welcome Calandra Lockhart. My father always told me that raising a child was being, was being provided with a special, precious treasure. Children don't come with directions, but it takes a wonderful plan and roadmap to raise them properly. At Wiley College, when we meet with first-time freshmen, we ask them some guiding questions. We want to know from them what that roadmap to the career plan will be. We ask, what type of professional do you want to be? What is this end goal, this ultimate role that you want to play in society? We ask them how they plan to get there and what they're willing to do to get to that place. In other words, we're beginning that conversation of intrusive advising and enrollment process. In other words, enrollment with a purpose. Once that purpose is set, all the work really begins. The work outside of the classroom, that is. The work that the students do together with work-based projects that lead them through meeting specific learning outcomes and goals that may include apprenticeships, shadowing, internships. Yes, these are all part of that process, but they're gaining professional education certificates during this time period. Students believe that progression with results gives them that feeling of achievement. During this time period, again, they're working to collect these four professional education certificates before graduation. The student thinks, I get to become the professional that I want to be before I actually get to graduation day. They are part of this process. They're taking ownership. Again, valuing the process of work. As a child, going through life with my father, he would tell me when we were on family trips, he'd say, take this map. You're the navigator. You tell me where we're going and how we get there. Again, we tell our students, they are the navigators of their career plan. They must value what they're doing and how they get there. It is up to them to choose that process. Now, past these four professional education certificates, our students can move further along in their process. They're not limited. The sky's the limit for them, or should we say the mining of the treasure, depending on what the value they place upon it. When our students like amethyst, which is one of the very first gifts my father gave me to let me know my special value, they are much like amethyst to the light. When we look at lights and look at the variations of color, their value is different in their variations of abilities and talents. One of the things we have to let them know, once they earn these professional education certificates, is now they are rare, they are fine, they are admirable, and they are valuable, much like our precious pearls. Thank you. <laughs>